friends, welcome to Yadna Investment Academy. Before we begin, we want to let you know that through your comments, emails, and various channels, we get a lot of questions on mutual funds and SIP. Sensing the need, we have come up with our first book, which is a collection of such 108 questions and answers on mutual funds and SIP. The book is available on Amazon, Flipkart, etc., and the link to buy the same is mentioned in the description of this video. And now moving on with our topic. In this video, we will try and answer the question: Do you really need a financial advisor or no? Most of us think we don't need a financial advisor as we don't have too much of money. Okay then, here we are going to narrate an example, and at the end of the narration, you can find out your answer to the question whether you need a financial advisor or no. Let us take an example of a young family where there is a husband, wife, and a newborn son. The couple has these goals, which are the usual goals of any family, like they want to buy a house, car, higher education for their children. they will be planning for another child after some years so higher education for two children their marriage and their own retirement planning the first goal of the family was buying a house generally we don't have the patience to accumulate funds for the house and then buy a house we generally go for a home loan so here the family has also gone for the home loan we have listed the other goals of the family for which they would accumulate funds and then spend now there are many online goal planners available which would tell you the future cost of your goal if you put in the current cost of your goal and the time in hand before you need this future corpus you would also need to put in your inflation assumed so based upon these various current costs and the various time frames in hand we have calculated the future cost of each of these goals for example let's say they want to buy a car which costs around 7 lakh rupees today and they want to do this after 3 years So after three years, the value of this particular car would be around eight and a half lakh rupees. For calculation of the retirement corpus, you would need to use a retirement planner, wherein you would need to put in your current age and the age when you want to retire. So that time difference is time available for retirement. Then your current monthly expenses, your life expectancy, and the assumed rate of inflation. And based upon these values, the calculator would give you the corpus required. for you to comfortably retire and live till the age you expect to live so the collective corpus of all these goals of the family works out to be around 7 crores so have you thought while managing your daily expenses servicing your loan usual education needs of your children other than the higher education you will need this corpus at various stages which would mostly be towards the end of your career can one keep up with the investing discipline required to accumulate such a huge corpus where you need to keep your emotions at bay for more than 30 years this corpus is required to satisfy some generic goals of a family but there could be some additional goals so just imagine the kind of corpus required to satisfy these additional goals so coming back to our original question where we started our video we might not have too much of money but yes over a course of life we need to acquire a lot to satisfy all our goals so now do you think you need a financial advisor who can help you reach all your goals so what does a financial advisor do he helps you in systematic investments helps you choose the right fund tells you how much you need to invest then he helps you in cash flow management helps you answer the question are you overspending helps you in debt management doesn't let you over borrow then he helps you in asset allocation with your changing risk profile and additional inflow of money that you have helps you mitigate your risk by helping you buy right kind of insurances then he helps you in tax saving to increase your investable surplus and he also helps you in distribution of wealth through estate planning that is making a will so a person which can add so much of value and guide you through the path of wealth creation safely is definitely required but you need to find a right one because a wrong person can do a lot of damage we will shortly come up with a video which would tell you how to choose and find a good financial advisor so friends hope this video has been useful thanks for watching this one watch this space for more such topics until then happy investing